like I said, I'm gonna explain it like this. There is the type of people whose parents lied and said that there is a Santa and that Santa brings these gifts. And then there's a group of kids whose parents didn't lie and said, we pay for all this shit. And uh, if we got the bread, make you a Christmas list. We'll see if we can if we can get it all for you, or if some of it, shit. That in a nutshell explains on a different note pretty much what happened with me and my homie like we got into an argument to where I felt like we haven't necessarily left our planet's orbit yet at that time I'm not even I'm not even 100% sure now but he looked at me and played me like I was crazy like and that was I'm pretty sure that was around the time it either happened before around the time or right after when NASA came out shit it maybe even happened like a year later NASA came out and said that they just somehow lost all the fucking photos and footage of the moon landing and not to mention there's hella videos on YouTube and multiple other outlets where the people from the set moon landing in 1969 are pressed about if that shit was real and these niggas are so fucking anxious to get the fuck on they even end up swinging on some of these people there's even one dude who's, who's more polite about it asked as bro to swear on the bible that he went to the moon not even that but I can't even think of bro her name right now cause I'm on shit I'm, I'm high fiving the lord right now but uh <coughs> <coughs> there was another astronaut that was said to have been on that flight to the moon when that when they came back this nigga got depressed he was clinically depressed he had uh, depression and anxiety and then he ended up quitting and retiring and I'm pretty sure he don't be out here doing uh, interviews and don't be out here doing uh, the extras like everybody else do I'm not y'all can fact check me that and put put that in the comments but yeah that man definitely uh was diagnosed with depression and he he gave up and like hadn't said a word about it as far as i was concerned The one thing I will not agree with is we are not in a fucking matrix, my nigga. They're playing with God. Y'all, you, you hear me? Hold on, let me put this bitch up. Y'all, y'all hear me? They are playing with God. This is not no fucking matrix. They're playing with God right now. Y'all didn't see China launch the fucking another sun? First, Bill Gates said he was trying to block out the sun. Then China released a second sun. Y'all think this is a game. This ain't no fucking Matrix. These niggas are playing God. But let, let the internet keep telling y'all what to say, what this is, and what's going on. Y'all gonna use facts to, dis, to discern shit because... Clearly, they disconnected us with all these chemicals and shit. So y'all motherfuckers don't have real discernment. Y'all bitches still fuck niggas that ain't shit. Y'all niggas still impregnating bitches that ain't shit. So stop. Let let let's cut the bullshit right now.
There is no level of real discernment out here. <clears throat> Till we're all on one one accord and we all understand the same shit again. To where we back in like the sixties and fifties where air niggas wearing afros and shit. A lot of people starting trying to trying to get locks and shit like that, but but um a lot of niggas out here faking the phone. Like we gotta get rid of the, the lace fronts and the fucking the niggas with the hair pieces and shit. That's out. That's out of here. We gotta be team natural. That's the only way we gonna win. Cause y'all bitches ain't gonna stop wearing makeup unless it's team natural. And the crazy part is, y'all don't even realize that, like, as soon as the fucking COVID hit, why all the celebrities all of a sudden went gray? I just thought about that. Think of P. Diddy. Think of DJ Khaled. Excuse me. A lot of niggas went gray, like as soon as COVID hit, because something must have been going on with the fucking makeup industry. I don't know what it was, but I know I, don't, I know I don't see DJ Khaled gray no more. I don't really see Diddy posted up gray no more. What the fuck was that? Why was niggas just all of a sudden not not dying and putting makeup on? Alicia Keys, fucking uh, who else was it? A few other bitches. Uh, what's the bitch that's fucking up D Wade's son right now? Gabrielle Union. She went fucking natural. Fuck. There's a few other ones I, I'm just not thinking of right now that that for sure went natural and wasn't wearing makeup for a cool minute. Hmm. Lauren London was actually. She wasn't wearing makeup for a cool minute. All of a sudden. Hmm. Y'all you know, motherfuckers better stop acting like Beyonce ain't got a BBL. I'm just, I'm just keeping it in the stack. A lot of, a lot of people got surgery. Not even just on their body. It's just, bro. I got a fucking, a metal, something in my knee, and I feel weird. I'm gonna keep it at that while I've seen way more botched surgeries than I've seen good ones. So I'm gonna just leave that there. And I encourage all black folk to go to a black company and get your uh, ancestry line, your bloodline done. <clears throat> a, because you know it's not going to be, you know, used incorrectly. And B, um, it'll be good for you. It's a look into your history and the shit that most of your parents probably don't even know. 
A lot of y'all, a lot of y'all don't even talk to the OGs in y'all family. And that shit's sad. Like a lot of shit that like I had didn't necessarily have to deal with. Like I guess I would say I'm more fortunate, but that shit didn't last though. Like I'm grateful for the time that I did have it. But I'm not like y'all niggas in my 20s living with my parents, nigga. I, I didn't have that luxury. <clears throat> I can't fucking go get my grandma's cooking whenever I want. And it starts with y'all. It starts with you. A lot of people said in their ways, like even even fucking young people, like I start I feel like the age where people get set in their ways is way younger than thirty. Statistically they say by thirty like someone is like set in their ways, but I think it's twenty five. If they've been through hell, maybe twenty four, twenty three. But they would have had to been through like Tyler Perry movie, fucking old bootleg BET movie shit. I'm talking about Roots meets Precious type shit, like that type of shit. <coughs> Speaking of which, <coughs> another person who pushing out that trauma, which we got to come to this understanding if we're going to be on this channel. The lowest frequency, which a lot of y'all play with. A lot of y'all play with frequencies, y'all. I didn't realize this until I bought my crystal charm. That was going to be my pendant, my medallion. That shit messes with your frequency. If you already a fucking alpha, you already a fucking... The most fucking dominant feminine whatever... If you already in your fucking highest being, there is no need to fucking have these fucking crystals. Especially if you're already doing everything right on this plane. When the world realizes frequencies are attached to dimensions, is when the understanding truly begins. The lower the dimension, the more basic shit is. When things become second nature, second hand nature, and when you're living your life properly, like everything starts to fall into place. Like I'm not even gonna lie, like when I was 100% vegan before I got hit, everything was just running so smoothly. Like I was looking back at my old videos, like I had no bags under my eyes, no black, nothing under my eyes like looking at my old workout videos like i was breath i may have looked slim but i was a tank like for real and everything just seemed smoothly like woke up at a certain time did my routine like everything just started flowing and when you're grounded and when you're in touch with yourself like everything flows but also understanding yourself and not just you know feeding into someone's process but also understanding that you have your own process you need to feed into 
understanding business and marketing and understanding the economy and the world I understand we we're all just a part of this network and we all need to be playing a role in order for this shit to work so I get that so you know it's fuck it is like a yin and a yang to shit but bad doesn't mean evil there's good and bad bad doesn't mean evil like it's like visually you're in a park and you see someone getting their ass whooped versus you sitting in a park and you see a dude trying to talk to a little girl on the swing and he touches her trying to lure her away and then you see her older siblings come over there and start beating his ass that's two different scenarios you understand what's going on versus you just see someone and you feel like they're being attacked There's two, like, like, please understand this with me, people. It's not rocket science. You either fully understand or you don't. And this is where we get into, uh, I hate to pull street politics into shit, but naturally I kind of have to. It's not your business, but sometimes it has to be your business. If that makes sense to you. As a man, it's not your business. Sometimes it has to be your business. And that's solely up to you whether that is and where to draw that line. And Yeah, but... As men, we got to come to some type of agreement on where that line is. I think we can all agree on if someone's being abducted, that we act. Or if someone's being taken advantage of in general to react. But once again... Do you know the full situation or you don't? That's the harsh reality. I wish common sense was more common. I wish shit wasn't as fucked up as it is because we wouldn't have to see so much death and people starving and shit like that. It's not hard to to really wonder how these civilizations were able to thrive. Like, there was a dude on Joe Rogan's podcast that was explaining like they found like these fucking massive civilizations in the Amazon that was like over like two million people, and they tried to say that the Amazon couldn't like sustain life like this is just so much shit that comes out that like is not being widely talked about that like debunks average like shit that like school science like schools teach when it comes to science and history like so much shit is coming out defying that 
like they try to say that all human life started like a few million years ago like but uh, we were mon monkeys allegedly at that time but then I shared with my anthropology teacher like a few years back um, who I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be telling a story about because uh, I told it to my homie he said I should be putting all these stories on uh, YouTube so I shall so look out for story times if you've gotten this far in the video but yeah I shared with my anthropology teacher that they had found a footprint in a, uh, a part of this muddy sediment that was over 28 million years old a human footprint like homo sapien all I'm saying is like the shit that's out there the shit that they've been teaching in these schools there's more out there this is why I say don't be bound by these books don't be bound by these bibles understand that the King James Bible isn't entirely the word understand that that New Testament is a whole another story but there's truth out there like it doesn't explain why that's another thing where it's like so many things come into play where there's just so much corruption that like the Vatican fucking took out, I think it's like 12 books from the Bible or some shit like that. And like slowly and sh but surely all these people are coming out explaining all these books and like shit that's in these books. And not to mention the David and Goliath story that we all know if we've all read the Bible. Like, there are giants that have been here. Not to mention in the Bible, the giants are explained to have six fingers and six toes. And there are so many reports coming out and archaeological finds of bones being discovered of giants having six fingers and six toes on each hand and each foot so I'm not 100% sure if the Bible explains that they were blue and had orange hair but that seems to be the narrative everywhere um, there are a few giants in history that there is like physical evidence of that uh, there were black giants. Um, <clears throat> one of them had two heads. So um, if you read the Bible and you understand what the whole speaking of giants is about, then you'd understand that they are uh, the offspring of the fallen angels who came here and saw the women and were infatuated and impregnated them. So, but from my research, I'm 100% a believer that it wasn't just um, the giants that were offspring of these people and from what Billy Carson speaks on I'm 100% sure that there has been when there was talk of alien interaction um, when it comes to the great pyramids and even other civilizations that were speaking with these uh, beings 
it seems as if there were some type of genetic uh, modifying or manipulation of the human genome and yeah I don't want to get too much into that because I don't like stray off of what the main topic of this video which is really to talk about all the fucking demonic shit going on out here it's just crazy to sit back and think about like how many different ways they're like attacking you us hmm. let them marinate For everyone who saw that Noah's rant shit I posted on here, fucking. Y'all can't tell me that shit didn't sound fucking crazy. Like, if that was really Cardi's performance, like, yeah, you'll never catch me at any event that niggas had. Like, any of them days was the first or second day, because then by the second day, if he's the first day, Oh no, that means the the whole grounds is is fucked up. I don't even want to be there, cause my fucking legs don't even work like that. So why would I want to get stuck in that situation? Like no, and that means I wouldn't want y'all to be there. But like I said, I I wanted to wait to make this video, cause. People out here in a sack have lost any fucking way. They so fucking lost, bro. It's it's no it, it's no saving a lot of people. But I speak my mind unapologetically, and hey, if you rub people the wrong way, nigga, I've had that type of shit happened my whole fucking life all you're supposed to do is make you get better bro if, this sh if someone's not physically harming you nigga you're fine By now, y'all should already know if you go to any fucking concert or whatever, it needs to be a small event where you need to know and have a clear path to the exit. Because it's looking rough. And in SAC, it's looking extra rough. It seems like every time there's like a full moon or every time like there's like a big ass like on the calendar when there's like a big ass event or there's supposed to be like a big energy like exchange they always do like a mass like killing and I understand like how that shit works like when they do the uh, energy harvesting Alright, y'all niggas didn't want to listen back in 2018, 2017, and 2019. Like, when niggas was saying, like, black women are going missing every 60 seconds. 
like that shit is a real thing and that shit that happened with uh, Kanika where she just like was found stumbling <coughs> with a choppy fucking uh, security fucking video and like niggas was debunking and shit there was a fucking radio uh it's like there's a radio guy that kept talking about it and he was talking about some shit about how um like some white dudes like met up and like he pretty much was explaining how it would go down like how these niggas like ah <sighs> I want to explain it, but, like, I also don't want to get too much into it because I don't know what YouTube finna do with everything else I said in this bitch. So, uh, the best I can describe it is, like, hostile. That's how he described it. Where it's, like, niggas go around to, like, wherever area where they have, like, a connection to or like a surrounding area and like they'll go to like someone like they know and they'll see like someone that they are interested in and will find a way to get them in the situation that's why it's like like that that shit that happened most recently with old girl uh who was killed in Mexico when she was out there with her friends like like a lot of these a lot of these situations like the coroners and and like other shit happens <laughs> to where like there's no like real autopsy that happens for a cool minute and like and even then we don't hear about it and like even the family won't fucking get a, a real fucking autopsy like y'all don't realize there's been families that's gotten fake autopsies before and have had to ask for redos like a re-autopsy like that shit is so fucking wild like how are y'all not understanding like this shit is real like and I, uh, in a future video, I'm going to have a story time, too, where I'm going to talk to y'all about this girl, Mary, I met when I was sleeping in my car. That girl, Mary, taught me, told me some shit where it's going to connect to this video, so hopefully y'all watch this whole fucking video. Because if y'all y'all already subscribed and y'all showing me love, you might as well watch the whole motherfucking thing. Y'all niggas going to watch DJ... Uh, academic